Let us get to the co-main event. Probably the fight I was most curious to hear your predictions on today. This is a title eliminator in the lightweight division. Rafael Fazib, minus 230. Justin Gaethje, plus 195. So Fazib, born in Kazakhstan, fights out of Azerbaijan by way of Thailand. He's won six in a row since dropping his UFC debut. Gaethje, of course, your former interim champion. I'm not sure I've ever seen plus 195 next to his name. Probably right. for the Khabib fight, it was even bigger. But uh, Justin Gaethje, returning for the first time since the Charles Oliveira fight. May 7th of last year, does he have enough for Rafael Fazee? Brian Petrie, your mic is hot. This fight was kind of easy for me to break down and pick, which scares me. You know what I mean, John? John, you're a handicap. You're like, oh, you, I'm seeing this so right. And you're like, wait a second. Should I fade myself here? That's how I feel like because I think uh, – excuse me. Say his name one more time so I don't fuck it up. Fazee. 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 I think Fazee is the best striker at 155, hands down. I think he is clean. I think he is technical. Volume a little low. Cardio question marked a little bit. Anytime he's thrown over 100 punches with the Bobby Green fight, and he faded bad in that fight, right? Justin Gaethje throws 100 punches without breaking a sweat. That guy is just all action all the time, but he's looked so kind of off to me, right? He gets hurt in every fight nowadays. Chandler had him hurt this last time he won. Olvera slept him, dropped him three times with just clean technique. Olvera obviously one of the best in the world. But Fazeev is just clean with everything. His Brad Riddell fight was very impressive with me because they were training partners. I think Brad Riddell used to coach him or something like that. There was some kind of real relationship there. And it was a close fight, competitive fight. Riddell was, was wrestling a little bit. But Fazeev just just knocked him out, took him out, and, and made it look effortlessly. This guy's takedown offense is unbelievable, 92%. Justin Gaethje doesn't have a takedown in the UFC, so I don't think that's going to be a problem. But he does have wrestling um, I'm seeing Fazeev here. Fazeev by knockout all day long. I, that's that's what I'm seeing. I, I just think he's a little too clean. I think Gaethje's going to make it ugly. And I'm a Gaethje guy. I love Justin Gaethje. I just, what I've seen, if he gets in there with like really clean technique, he dips his head too much. He throws a little wild. He likes the inside clinches. And that's where Fazeev is, is, is some, works some of his best work, those elbows and that knockout over Makano. I mean, forget about it. Uh, yeah. this, guy's a, this guy's a real problem. And I think this is a coming out party for him. So uh, give me Fazeev. And to underscore the extent to which Rafael Fazeev is a problem, Justin Gaethje is a bigger underdog against this dude than he was against Charles Oliveira, right? And that number has not been bet to a point where that is no longer the case. We did ask a poll question for today's Zanuck and Florian podcast of the four fighters atop the marquee. In whom are you most confident to get the win? 40% of respondents say Kamar Usman. 26% said Rafael Fazeev. Kenny, your thoughts on Fazeev? Minus 230 against Justin Gaethje in the co-main event. Well, Brian's right. Let, let's look. Let's look at it. Right, Fazeev. He's he's younger. He's he's fresher. He's got the better chin. Um, I think he's got more tools on the feet overall. Um, and that's exactly why I'm going with Justin Gaethje. Uh, <laughs> I'm going with Gaethje oh, here. Okay, no. this is why. This is why. Here's the only thing. Okay, is that I don't care who you are, what you've done. Justin Gaethje has the ability to hold your hand and walk through the garden of punishment with you. Sometimes you get out alive, but many times it's you that is buried in that garden. And I think Gaethje's going to find a way to drag Fazeev into a world where he's never been before. He comes from a Muay Thai background. And in Muay Thai, it's a kind of this like pacing and it's this dance and it slowly picks up and, it, you know, you can kind of coast even against very good Muay Thai fighters and you can kind of chill. And then the fourth and fifth rounds, things start to pick up. There's more clinching. Gaethje gets right to the point. Um, and and we're going to find out. And we haven't seen Fazeev in that kind of um, pressure environment, high pressure environment where he's exhausted and he's got to find a way to win. And I can't get that Bobby Green fight out of my head. That's the problem. If we're straight, if we're going straight up and these guys are even odds or Fazeev is up by a little bit and Gaethje's close, uh, a close underdog, I'm going Fazeev. But plus 195 for Gaethje, on a guy who, you know, in Fazeev, who does stay in the pocket and does get hit at times, you stay in there and you take a hook or two or a right hand from Justin Gaethje. He puts you to sleep. Give me Gaethje here. I, I like it. And Gaethje always surprises us when we least expect it. Give me Justin Gaethje for Man. some extra dog. 